It's time for more ice first. What do we got? We develop that tech. We had a new ship build. What the, what was this again? I was really tired yesterday and I have no idea what the Parkinson's actually was, but I know I wanted a couple of them. And we fight a combat with uh, a portable fighting a poison, whatever that means. Uh, this was uh, just a regular scout ship. This was not the uh, solar sail variant. And what is this freighter of his? It freights freight. It freights people. Okay. So there's a population transport. This thing didn't have any ordnance, so it just ran away. Okay. Now that we know what th that it's there, we can try and kill it. It's something that has ordnance, uh, like this uh, ship does not, because it only has a PD cannon. Uh, this ship has guns, but if that thing had armor, that is not going to be uh, going to be killed. But it didn't have any armor. Which had 815 uh, hit points. Can we kill 815 hit points with this? Like 30 hit points uh, divided by 10 ordnance. That's like three hit points per ordnance. No, we don't have <laughs> enough ordnance in this thing to actually kill that traitor. Maybe disable it. But honestly, I don't really care about uh, that traitor arriving here or not. Let's look at these things. Nothing happened still. He's moved these ships to stand guard on the war point. I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, you can stay there. Unfortunately, um, now I won't know if he if he moves these uh, ships here or where he moves them. If he wants to move them here or here. Uh, yeah, you can do the colonization thing next turn. But how's the money situation looking like? Yeah, we actually have uh, four digits of income in organics. Incredible. Uh, you're just waiting here. Alright, you can do that. Then you can uh, meet up there next turn. No, wait, you didn't, you didn't need to meet up there. You needed to meet up here. And then in two turns you can invade this planet. Let's see if he's built any defenses, I guess. Uh, what do we have to do here? This one was uh, building a space dock. What should we build after the space dock? Space dock is the thing that's what you to do. transmit supplies. It also transmits ordnance, but it doesn't generate any, does it? Only metropolises do? Yeah, they produce supply and ordnance. Since this plan has good organics value, I'm inclined to just slap a few of these on here. And then we can get ordnance production as well. Because we're gonna need that. Well, we don't actually have any ships here for now, but um, we'll see what this attack looks like. So he's still got his gunboats here. And they still look like uh, the ones that were there before. Okay, what's that? That's another one of his crew transports. It's population transport, it's just po it has population load. Uh, we made a new strategy for you. Avoid the planet. And in defense you should also avoid the planet. Since the planet cannot shoot back. This is the scout ship. Should we keep the scout ship in the combat? I think we should, because otherwise if we just leave it floating around in the system elsewhere it might be intercepted by gunboats or fighters or whatever. Should we have it in a different task force then? Mm, maybe not. We should have it in the core task force. Set these guys to escort so they're a little farther out since they have less range. Uh, yeah, but aside from that, I think uh, this will be it. Attack the planet. And then blockade it. I think if we can blockade his planet, he should have most of his income next. And, uh, well, without most of his income, he shouldn't have any uh, colonies yet that are that productive. Well, we, have, we don't see any colonies of his and have any buildings on them at all, honestly. <laughs> uh, then I think uh, this game should be in the bag, if this works. What are you going to do? You're going to stay there, I guess. You shouldn't see this ship. 
I also shouldn't see this one. <laughs> How about you just go there for now so we can see what's on that planet? I'm guessing yes, at least some buildings on this world. Uh, Parkinson's, this was the mining ship, right? We had some planetos here with great organics values, so let's uh, set them there. Uh, right, we mothballed this ship again. <laughs> I think we can mothball it, uh, demothball it again, since we should now have enough resources. Oh wait, we only have enough resources because this isn't producing anything else. So we might not want to. By the way, did we load units on this thing before we uh, we mothballed it? Uh, no, we did not, because these are either still here or. Well, they got unloaded again, uh, but I think we just never loaded them. So, what else do we want to build? Uh, I'd like to build warships that are not as far away from the uh, enemy colonies, but we don't really have any any choice, do we? Did we ever get orbital yards built or researched? Uh, we just got a bunch of techs in these departments. Maybe we should upgrade the metropolises to level 3. should definitely upgrade the ones that are building. You need to be building 14 level 3 metropoli. Mm, are you building any? No, you're building research labs at level 3. Okay. Yeah, I guess they have a light uh, shipyard level 3 available now, but... Um, I'm not going to stop construction, it's already underway. Well, what I'm going to need is uh, more invasion force. So I'm probably going to need more army. I'm gonna need armies that can deal with lasers, which means I'm going to need armies that can uh, have shields. Space mine. Corvettes, this is the army. Which means all these uh, fancy Latinum armors get to be uh, taken out. Let's leave a little bit on there. Well, actually, I guess we have to move that too, and then we need a gravitic shield, which we can't place on the inside, so we have to place on the outside. Okay. Hmm. Well, this thing gives us 100 hit points, but it regenerates every half second, so you would need uh, something more than a laser to tank or to destroy this. I guess if you just have a laser off you, then they will never get through this. I was going to bitch that this thing just gives me 100 shield points for 20 kilotons of uh, structure, whereas I get 20 for 1 kiloton of structure from this one, but uh, yeah, armor does not regenerate. At least this one doesn't. No expensive. Mm. It's a little bit of the cost, but it's not un not unmanageable. And do we want other weapons than ass drivers for this? We have artillery mounted ass drivers for these as well. Mm. Yeah, they would also have a very good uh, aim and very good range. But I don't think it'll be necessary. I think it's 50 supply and 510 ordnance, which is uh, actually just about the, the ratio that we need. That's very nice. Okay, let's upgrade you, and then I suppose we'll build a few of these in anticipation of the future invasion of the floating gas back people. So a transport is going to be able to transport four of them. Uh, we already have one army on this planet, it's one of the older types, but whatever, let's just build seven of these. Are we even going to need seven? Maybe not. Oh well, let's build seven of these anyway, and let's check on our invasion transport design. I'm anticipating that if he doesn't surrender, I'm going to need to invade his home world, and uh, I think he has, what, 13 troops on there, or 10 or so? I don't think I'm going to actually need uh, numerical superior superiority to him if I show up with shields and he just has lasers. Uh, but then again, I don't know exactly what the type of his troops is here, right? Do I get the name? I, could, I do get the name. Cooper Troopers. 
all the same type, there's no version 2 or anything. So that is probably the same type that we already have on file, is it? Let me ship designs, yeah, that's the one we have on file. Auto Canona. Wait, he did actually have Cooper Trooper level 2s with laser beams. Oh, so, uh, auto cannons are not going to be uh, what we want them to have. Great. So we might need a different type of unit after all. How much shield penetration did kinetic damage type have again? Damage type, kinetic. Uh, gravity shields penetrates 30%, so 70% of the damage is still going to be uh, absorbed. But 30% is going to go through, and with just one armor plate, um, I'm afraid so this means our troops are going to die pretty soon. Uh, let's change the design up again. I want more armor on there, but there's no space on these troops otherwise, which means we are going to need to rip something out and plot on put on more armor. It would be great if we had lasers for his armor. Uh, we don't have any missiles available. We already uh, bemoaned to that fact. Should we use this one? It has up to 15 damage per hit that damages the component? You mean like the uh, control component? Because units have a weird thing going on with how they uh, how they work with emissive armors. And I think his units usually say that the, uh, the average of all emissive effects is applied. So you can uh, unit armor installed on units will have the average of all the armor components emissive ability. So is it only applied to armor? Not exactly sure. Hmm. What could we do? How strong is the carbonate mount anyway? Twice the strength for plus 20% size. Doesn't sound too bad actually, but um, he has those uh, skirmisher generals. Actually, does he have the skirmisher general in his old design as well? Yes, he does. Just uh, bonus to shooty shoot and speedy speed. Mm -hmm. How do we counter that? He didn't have more range than we did with his auto cannon. So I think we'll be fine if we just rip one of these mass drivers out and dump in a little more armor in exchange. I mean, we can dump in a lot more armor actually. Yeah, I think we should dump in a lot more armor. Because the shield is again going to regenerate every half second. The Latin armor has been reapplied to the ship. Uh, that's what? 8, 16, 19 armor plates? Yeah, right, because these are 18 size and we just had one armor plate before. Okay, I guess this is going to be our troop design then. Let's use build seven of these. And check up on our delivery platform for these things. Uh, hard disease was the dropship. Let us upgrade this. Didn't have anything here. We are not going to have a radar array on there for sure. Uh, we could go for a different engine setup if we wanted to. We can use these large thrusters which are more efficient. They don't produce as much thrust per kiloton but they were more efficient on supplies. Which could make us not need a large reactor. Especially since this one gives us the same speed bonus. Uh, but I want to have at least a little bit of defense in case they uh, get shot at on the way there. Actually, is there any difference between the light armor here and the titanium armor? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They ha also had one uh, missive ability, but they had better structure, right? So, uh, let's slap a few of these back on. I'm not sure how many we'll need. Like this, we have 100 kilotons left over space. And let's slap on two, uh, two of these shields. We decided this was enough to uh, take on 
Uh, two thirds of one missile. His missiles do 300 damage, this tanks 200 damage, and two thirds of a missile damage, uh, a missile hit, meaning 200 out of 300 damage is going to be applied to shields. The rest penetrates the shields and uh, penetrates most of the armor and goes straight to the hull. Want a PD gun? Maybe. Let's slap one on. Let's not forget to put on plenty of sunscreen, meaning uh, magazines, because we don't want to run out of ammo with that. Oh, actually we don't need that, because these things have great ordnance storage abilities. Great. That saves us a little bit. And let's uh, change out the engine. Hmm. This thing also has a lot of supply storage. So how much would we actually need if we slapped on large thrusters? Large thrusters have, what, 300 thrust? We are going to need 800 thrust for one move. Uh, we're also going to need the, as the antimatter reactor. Uh, which means that this is 600 thrust and two solar sails is 800 thrust. Which means this goes at move speed 3. I want to go at move speed 4 though. Because I want to get there sometime this century. And all my other warships move it for speed 2. And uh, we still have a little bit of space left. These are not 100 kilotons, these are 550 kilotons, but um, if we're going to need 50, 50 plus 40, another 140 kilotons to upgrade this to 4 move speed, I'm afraid we are out of space there. So I guess this will have to stay 3 speed. Hmm? Yeah, looks like. Could we make it fit if we just put on large uh, medium thrusters instead? We needed 12. Right, we needed 12, right? Yes, we needed 12. Which means another 3 here, another 3 there, another 3 there, and another 3 there. Are also going to be too big. Too bad. Actually, we just don't really only need one less. Ah, 5 kilotons, really? Can we say 5 kilotons in. Crew quarters. If we take out a little bit more of the armor, we can actually make this fit. Okay, I'm guessing now we're gonna have supri supply problems though. 24 medium thrusters that move uh, 4 times a turn, 24 times 4, and use 15 supply per are going to require almost 1,500 supply every turn. Which means this thing is going to uh, have enough storage for two and a half turns, meaning like ten tiles. And this thing does not produce 1440 supply per turn. And I don't think that supply ship that I made once upon a time does either. So I guess a four speed invader is off the menu. So slap on the old setup again that we had with the large thrusters and solar sails and decide what we want to do with all our leftover space it's almost enough to slap on another cargo bay but only almost I'm afraid could slap on another auto cannon mm, yeah, could do that could slap on another shield could put these here mm, yeah, could do that Du, 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 du. Let's slap on a little bit more armor because we can do that too. And we have medium uh, stealth coatings. Yes, and we can actually put them on these. So let's slap one on there just in case he has shitty sensors somewhere on the way, like the ones on his warships. Which means we can actually probably uh, sneak through this uh, defended war point of his here because he only has level 1 sensors there. That is, if that's still the case when this ship gets there. Or these ships, we're gonna build two of them. Hmm. Not sure how much supply do they need? 90? Uh, yeah, let's just round that up to 100. 100 per move, meaning 300, and they generate 10 supply per star. <laughs> and 75, uh, so like, say, 95 in an average system. 
Which means 100 supplies are also short for them, which means this thing has enough supply to keep it going for 36 turns. Which is fine with me. Uh, if we cloak it, then the reactor isn't going to produce anything, which means we're going to have, well, well almost half that, but 18 turns is still more than enough. I guess these cargo bays are really advantageous in that they have supply and ordnance storage as well. It saves you a lot of space. I don't need uh, extra supply generation or storage, I don't need extra ammunition storage. In fact, since we have 30 kilotons left over, we can either slap on another shield and 10 armor plates, or another PD gun. Or could we put on a regular uh, auto cannon? Yes, we could. That way it can defend itself against other things as well, like gunboats, which are is what he is apparently uh, building on his plan to defend them. He's on his home world. Okay, this is a new invader. This is not terribly expensive at all. You can put a few of these out relatively soon. Okay, that's the preparation for the next invasion. We can just about afford this, that's fine. We're going to be able to afford more as long as these continue to build. Uh, yeah, we upgraded that to level 3. Call on terribly set again, I'm not going to bother changing it once more. But next turn, we're gonna see if this blockade plan works or not. It's gonna be the biggest fight we've had with this uh, gunboats that we have there. I still don't have a direct counter available for these four ships of his. I should get something going there pretty soon as well. Uh, maybe some escort ships for these uh, for these invaders. Mm, do you think these gunboats that I built can take them on? They had missiles on them, yeah? Yeah, they had missiles. They armor themselves to... Uh, let's sim it. Six of my gunboats versus four of his ships. Well, yeah, he only has that one design. Six of my gunboats versus four of his ships. Uh, I just need to know what my gunboats were called. I always click at the mine. Uh, really should have picked a different name scheme, I guess. Uh, is it this one? No, this one was the bomber. Corvette. Here we go. Oh yeah, shit's fast. Why are they not engaging? Oh, they're not engaging because missiles can't hit gunboats. So any gunboats is going to be a, a great counter to these. Oh yeah, look at them thrash these things. Just six seconds and next volley loads and there's another dead ship. Boop. <laughs> yeah, these missiles are not not jokes. Uh, they do go down pretty quickly in ordnance, but uh, I guess they make up for that with the killing power. Okay, missiles are great. Missiles are great in this game. So I guess we do have a counter to these available already. It's just mothballed right here. And it's uh, the would have this thing's three speed. What was the four speed? No, it's four speed, right? Uh, no, it was four speed. Okay. Which means it can get there sooner, if it wants to. I would rather have him. Uh, I'd rather have them arrive together with the invaders. Uh, because if we kill this before, and then he has a couple turns to build reinforcements or something to counter these, and I won't be able to respond to this. If he feels comfortable plugging that war point with these four cruisers, then I don't want to stop him. Okay, let's see if that invasion plan works. <laughs>